I see so many people that read a lot and they consume a lot, but they do very little. I think you would be better off taking one book, whatever that is, and really diving into it, like step by step and trying to implement the things from chapter one for like weeks and then chapter two and chapter three and find books that are more like a blueprint or more like a roadmap rather than just reading one saying, ah, oh, that was good. I got a few good quotes out of it a little different mindset change and move on to the next one that's this totally other different concept. What do you think the difference is between you and some people who seem to be on this kind of never-ending wheel of personal development and, and really haven't, I guess, grown, I guess we'll say? I've certainly seen people that are in that that cycle that, man, they're constantly learning, constantly growing, but never implementing and never putting in action. And I think that's what it ultimately takes is you can be the smartest guy in the world. You can know everything and every quote and every podcast and every vlog, but unless you go out and do something about it, you know, what good is it? And, and I would love to say that that's, you know, that's the reason is that I was just someone that, you know, put in action. I don't know. I, I don't know what it was. I think I was just in a particular point in my life. You know, I'd, I'd remarried and I didn't have a choice. You know, something had to work. I'm, I'm particularly fond of, of watching someone that's back is up against the wall and seeing how they respond. And I just, you know, I, I think we live in a society of people that have a certain safety net of comfort in the way that they're living their life and not putting in the action, not putting in the work, the alternative isn't that bad, right? Like, like if, if it doesn't work out, then they can always go back to what they were doing and it's not that bad. You know, a lot of it's having the right vehicle. It's easy for me to look back and tell this story because I had the right vehicle that I plugged into and, and I had the hard work ethic. That was something that I had had, you know, in, in years prior, I just hadn't you know been using it for the last few. But once I had that vehicle that I could plug that hard work into and I could get to wherever I wanted to go, and I knew, I realized and, and understand that a lot of people don't have that vehicle. And I know that I'm extremely fortunate and blessed for having had that opportunity come about. There was another comment, somebody said, oh, Bradley said, are you recruiting? We 100% are uh, recruiting. We have like 30, 27, 30 more territories available. Uh, it just depends on what state you're in and where you're located. Um, we have about 27 more territories throughout the state. I'll try to, um, put in the comments here. I've got a, a um, graphic that has all the different territories that are still available. We'll link up uh, for those of you that are interested in looking at the opportunity. I mean, I don't know what the commissions that I made today uh, were. It's probably somewhere around seven to nine grand today in commission. Uh, today in one day. Um, so if that's something that you may be interested in, um, we'd love to have you uh, join us. Mm -hmm.